Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about replication agents. So as I told you, there are two instances in AEM environment, author and publish. And you create content on author always, whether it's a pages or you upload assets. So you create content on author. There's another instance called publish and this instance serve content to end user. So that content you created on author that must be there in publish. So to move that content from author to publish, there is a process called replication. Now we used to call it publish. Earlier, this used to call it replication or activate. So to move content from author to publish, there must be a connection between these two instances, these two or more. Let's say if you have more instances, more than one publish instances. So there must be a dedicated connection from your author where you're creating content to the publish instances. So to that, we create replication agents. This replication agent is responsible for moving content from author to publish whenever you publish or activate page or asset. So these replication agents not only from author to publish, these are to any product in Adobe Cloud or any third party tool as well. So you can move content from author to publish means you can create a replication agent from author to publish or any other product in Adobe Cloud or any tool, let's say target Sense 7. And even you can create replication agent to move content to any third party tool as well. Let's say you are running an e-commerce site on sales commerce Salesforce Commerce Cloud and you are creating content on AEM. So you want to move content from author to this e-commerce platform. You can create a replication agent to that as well. But these are a templates to create these replication agents. Out of the box, these third party templates are not available. Whatever the application you will be using, you will install the package specific to that application and you will have an option. Then you will have an option to create replication agent for that specific tool. Now, replication agent, you will see three things there. When you talk about the replication agents, you will talk about three things. Agents on publish, agents on author, and activate three. So what are these? As I told you, publish instance, you won't be having access. So what do you mean by agent on publish? So what happened, whatever the agents you need on publish, you'll create those agents on author and then you move those to publish instances. What is the example? So if you create a replication agent or flush agent to clear or invalidate your browser, your dispatcher cache, so generally you can create that either author or publish, but creating on publish has some advantages. So what you'll do, you create that on author and you move to publish, then that, that flush agent work on publish. We'll see that in a demo. Agents on author is the normal thing. You create all the agents, replication agents on author. Activate tree is the out of box functionality, which is available. You don't create that where you can activate entire site means entire tree uh, in a one go. Now let me show you the instance means our application agents and how you can create those. I'll just give an example. You can create whenever you need as per your requirement. Okay, so go to these tools and deployments and replication. You will see these three options here. Let me show you first this publish. So you will see here flush agents what I was talking about. There is one more rep reverse replication. What is this? Let's say you move content from author to publish, right? But in some cases, user generate content on publish instance means user submit something by using that by submitted data, you are creating some content on publish instance, right? Somehow, like for example, ratings and all. So we'll, so that content must be moved to author from publish. So in that case, you will set up reverse replication agent, right? Generally, this is not used these days, but still you should know it right this reverse replication now let me go back agents on author so these are the replication agents you create on author default agent you always get right where uh, where you move content from author to publish if you have multiple publish environment you can create as number of as replication as you need as i said dispatcher flush agent i have already explained how to create dispatcher flush agents in dispatcher related tutorial and again this reverse replication agent so re setting up reverse replication agent is two step process you 
you create something on publish and something on author i'll not explain that of as of now if you need in some other tutorial i can explain the specific thing and there are other replication agent test and target dynamic media lot of other things if you need to know anything specific let me know i will explain these are self-explanatory and you can go back and check the documentation this is how we'll see how to create one now this activate tree so in activate tree you can activate entire site in one go let's say you have 100 pages select your parent page and just activate if i come here let me show you and my site is AM Geek. So if I select here and I say replicate, right, activate. These are some options, right, whether you want to activate only modified, only activated and this ignore deactivated. These are self-explanatory options. If you activate it right now, so it will activate my entire hierarchy, means entire site, whatever I have, whatever the levels I page have. Let's say I have pages till seventh level. So it will activate whatever under AM Geeks. Now let's see how you can create one. I'll show you just example. So go to agents on author. You will see these many of the replication agent, but you don't see any option to create a new agent here. So there are two ways how you can create. One option is if you can remember, if you are already working with the classic UI, if you are learning just now, so you maybe you don't know the classic UI. So what you can do, go to the M-I-S-C-A admin, mix admin. Now you will see these much of options. So here you can go to the replication and agents on author, right? When you click here, you will see an option here, new, right? Just click here and say new page. Now you will see these options. These templates are available to create these replication agents. So most common is replication agent. You can click here and just name it. I'll show you that. Okay. Just let's say test replication. And this is the most basic, right? Where it, this replication agent move content from author to publish. If I create it, let me create this and see this has been created. Just open this. Now by default, it's disabled. So what you have to do, just go settings and edit. Here, first thing you have to enable it, right? And then serialization, you can add as per your need. So what now I'm saying, let's say mm. default for now and other options are not needed as of now go here transport here in this you have to add your publish url how you can add that so you can add that like your url means your publish url slash bin slash receive and you can add that as well right now you have to add credentials for your publish whatever your credentials are for me it's just author author means admin admin and that's it and in settings you will see a read read retry delay so you can add how much time it should retry let's say there's some error your publish is down or network is broken so how much time later it should try again so this is in millisecond you can add as per your need let's say if i do this it will retry after one minute and let's say proxy nothing is needed in this nothing is needed uh, here extend this here this is important for not for this replication agent if you want to add some headers here right with this request whenever you flush something whenever you publish so if you need some headers to be added you can add these headers here right this is very important in case of dispatcher flush agent when you create a agent to clear cache at that time these are very important okay and trigger is not as needed now and so these are the very basic configuration the intention was to explain how you can create not what are the configuration here so if i let's say okay so see it's a green and it is enabled so whenever you publish something this will be used right and so if you have number of publish instances you can create same number of your replication agents Okay, one more thing. If you are not an old developer, you don't know this path, mix admin. So how you can come here, just come again, tools, and you should be here, resources, not resources, operations, and configurations. And again, you land on the same page. So how you'll come? Operations and configurations. So if you come here using configuration, you will land on the same mix 
admin page from here you can create your replication agents again if you want to create any replication agent for publish so you can choose this option and inside that you can create and you will be publishing those so those whatever the agent you will create inside this those will work on publish instances only not on author this was just a basic this was only basic for am as a standalone installation if you are using am as a cloud service there is a different approach used nowadays i'll talk about that in in that specific series am as a cloud service but this is important topic you must know in case of you are working am as a standalone but it's the important concept you should know this i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment